If you don't know what this hat is, this hat is my rant hat. You know what that means, don't you? It means I'm pissed off! Frederick's rant, Frederick's rant, he is angry and he will rant. My space needs rules, people. It needs some sort of guidelines, etiquette if you'd like. Some sort of criteria that you dickheads can follow. The purpose of this video is to help you dummies out so you don't piss me off anymore. So I'm here to give you a helping hand. If you're not quite sure if you're a dickhead or not, then please, let me educate you. This is your typical MySpace dickheads profile. As you can see, we've got the typical Playboy background, the annoying glitter effect sexy lady, which seems to represent one of two things, either she's a lesbian or she's sexy like the sexy lady. And that brings us to the falling objects, in this case hearts, which seem to not let you click anything around them. All in all, it's innocent enough. But wait, let's just take another look at that profile shot of hers. You see, what happens is not everyone has Photoshop, therefore they have certain ways of taking their profile pictures as to make them look a little better than what they would really look like in real life. And what eventuates from all these photos being taken is the now infamous MySpace shot. Oh, that's so MySpace. These shots include the I'm a cheeky boy look, you should lust over me, I'm so hot. The me at home just chilling out look. The I'm so shocked my photo is being taken look. And then there's this little gem. Don't you kiddies realise that if you use a flash in a mirror, it's just going to reflect the flash, you dickheads? Anyway, back to exhibit A. So as you can see, this is being cropped to the fuck. I mean, she does look rather nice. Easy on the eyes, but wait. This is the exact point, like a pommy tourist in a ladyboy bar in Thailand finds out that not all is what it seems. With the wonders of cropping, she's made it look like she's a decent, sexy young girl. In actual fact, this is what she looks like. Mmm, tasty boys, tasty. And then there's the, oh my god, I can't believe this worked, I have a $500 gift card from Macy's, dickheads. These comments or bulletins usually result from someone's profile being hacked. Here's a little piece of advice for you. If you've been hacked, change your password, dickhead. And then there's those oh-so-cool profiles that seem to have at least 20 videos on them that all seem to play at the exact same time just for your viewing pleasure. Dick head. If you're not down with the kids, like myself, you're probably reading this comment and wondering what the hell is it saying. Let me read it. Yo was poppin' ma, is yous be going to da movies tonight? I'm sorry, but... Did I miss the application to go to how to write like a crack whore school? Or maybe it's just cool to uh, look like you've dumbed yourself down? What are you kids on? All these annoying things have inspired me to create Frederick's Rules of MySpace. Think of it as a friendly guide through MySpace for dickheads. Rule number one. Thanks for the ad messages. Uh, not necessary. Nope. Don't need them. Rule number two. Never accept friend requests from girls with names like Nikki or Alexa. They're not what they seem to be. Number three. For all you post whores, I don't want to know that Fifi, your dog, just pooped for the fourth time today. Leave that shit with your therapist. Number four. Four. Sorry guys, but Lily Allen and Tila Tequila are not really your friends. They're not. Number five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. If I haven't put you in my top friends, it means I don't like you. So cry me a river, pansy boy. Okay, I'm done with my rant now. I'll take off my rant hat.
Adios, amigos. I've got this sudden urge to go to Macy's and spend $500. Jesse, we're going to Macy's. His name is Frederick.